Yeah, what up, what up? This is Jeremiah back from Hip Hop Uncut. We at another special location. Yo, we, man, we moving like a U-Haul truck. We at the Blue Cafe in Long Beach. We here with the world-renowned comic, Roy Anthony. Yo, man, yo. Yeah, hey, yo, these people been sleeping up under a rock, you know what I'm saying, on a bus bench or something like that. Why don't you go ahead and let them know what you do, man? Oh, well, I'm a professional comedian. The only thing I do is just tell the people the real and stuff, you know. Like, um, I was telling them, right now I'm preparing for a concert. It's called Put Your Hands Down So I Can Pop In Your Mouth. <laughs> you remember, that's what your mama used to say. You say something <laughs> stupid, right? It's, uh, my mother was one of them brave women right, and stuff. Right. She'll be patient with you, like, <laughs> put your hands down, because you be covering up like Martin Luther King and them, you know, and stuff, you know. But, uh, you know, much respect to Martin Luther King, don't get me wrong. But she waiting to tell me put my hands down, you know, so she can pop them in my mouth. So that's what I'm doing to the world, just telling them, hey, this is my point of view. Roy Anthony, put your hands down. Okay. But how do you feel that your comedy is different from, from all the other comedies out there, you know what I'm saying? And where do you rank yourself, you know what I'm saying, with Mark Lawrence and all the rest of them, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I can't rank myself, you know, because these guys are veterans. You right. know, I'm a veteran in my own world, but now the world is starting to recognize me. Right. But um, when you trying to put me in the category as Mark Lawrence and stuff, you know, I'm liable to say something my career be shot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mark Lawrence and them get a word of this and they, you know, career dead. You know what I'm saying? Right. That it'd be like I'd be in a little hotel room saying it's lonely at the top. Okay. And I'm only the only one celebrating it. Right, right. But my comedy is ranked with the way I feel, okay. the way I express myself. You know, um, everybody got, there's a million ways of looking at a particular view. Okay. And I just be able to astound my particular view. And, and that's what I do. And um, God's been blessing me. It's really God. Because, you know, he said the righteous has never seen forsaken or seen begging bread. Right. So I am so I used to be begging. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? You know, pigeon backs and wild dandelions. Yeah. But now I can eat a little bit of chicken and gravy. You know what I'm saying? But now the thing is that I, um, one of the main things, especially as a comic, is just being able to be myself. Okay. And letting the world and just pushing and pushing and pushing. My mother said that a, 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 a quitter, a loser always quits before victory. So the thing is, is I kept trying to push my view, push my view, push my view. Okay. My point of view is that I'm an ambassador of the ghetto because I'm from the ghetto. But now what I do is I let the world know what it's like, my point of view. And, and what happens is, is you persistent in believing in something, right, and you just keep them going through it. Like, uh, um, I read a passage one time that said that a superstar is a person that conquers all the obstacles and the dips that you go through just to, you know, complete to the finish line. Right. So that's my, that's me. So, um, and it, don't believe, don't, don't get me wrong, it ain't been an overnight success. Right, I've right. been homeless, I've been hungry. When you keep going through the cabinet, hoping that there's a, pan, a can of green beans that you overlook, knowing that the joke is darker than an alley in Compton, you know what I'm saying? But I just kept pushing it. And then what happens is, is that the confidence grows. Okay. And then I start seeing that other people start really paying attention to you. And so then I just keep giving and giving. And one of the main things is giving the people what their money's worth. Okay. I gave free shows and people came up to me and said, man, I wish I had paid. I feel like I paid. So, okay, now next time pay, homie. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't too late, you know what I'm saying? So, you can at least buy me some chicken from, you know, chicken, uh, was it Church's Chicken or some Popeyes? You know, I'd take a three piece with a biscuit, you know what I'm saying? That's the real, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, and you know what I'm saying? For, for all the up, upcoming comedians that's out there watching, what it, so what advice would you give them, you know what I'm saying, if they, if they want to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, be fresh like you, you know, go ahead and be fresh and clean like a washing machine? Well, don't get me wrong and stuff, because my manager and them give me these clothes. I can't get them <laughs> dirty and stuff. You know, I got to give it back to them for the next show. <laughs> no, but um, the thing is, I tell anybody, be persistent. If you're going to believe in it, believe in it. Okay. And so if there's nothing in this world you cannot do. Okay. You know, now no one said it's going to be easy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For me, I, I, I was with homies that, that quit because they was hungry, they was homeless or something. There was times I didn't have no car. I used to have to catch the Blue Line train to a show, and then the show lets out at 1.30, and the train's on LeBron again to 4. So I'm sitting at the stop waiting to 4 in the morning. But, hey, that's the thing to pay. So I would tell anybody, if you believe in yourself, you got to believe in yourself. I tell anybody, believe in yourself. 
Forget what the rest of the world believe in yourself and you'll do it. That is Jeremiah back in the building with my boy Roy Anthony. You know what I'm saying? Hip-hop uncut. There it is, you know what I'm saying? There it is.